I tell you that, and it, and I tell you fans a little something else about this. This is brand new barbed wire. It's 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 the top of the spoil, so it's uh, it it's it's sharp. It's 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 uh, you know, it it's definitely ready for uh for some cutting, you know. <laughs> As our camera person tries to get a little closer, taking a a view of the fans, uh, so to speak. Ponder trying to get me to kiss his ass, going back to his homo tendencies. Uh, you know, I, I truly think with uh, some of the things he thinks, he might be able to get a job in with. Well, you know, whatever. Uh, seems like he certainly has a place in the IWA, though. Uh, anybody willing to stick their neck out for light bulbs and barbed wire is okay by me. And that even includes you. I'll include you in that box. There's the referee's taking off his ref shirt. I try to have more clothing on in this match than less. If I were a referee, I wouldn't even be inside that room. But you notice, you know, uh, both me and Pondo, bare-armed, uh, not all covered up like sometimes you see guys do uh, ball wire matches in. They just, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's going out there and toughing it. Well, toughening it uh, isn't quite the word for it, and here we go. This you know, we... You know, we, we, uh, we struggle for position here and uh, try, trying to get, get position to get the guy into the ball wire is a tough thing to do, especially when you're fresh. But with the ball wire ropes, you know, you have nowhere to roam around. Now, what is the counter person doing there? Man, maybe the guy took, like, some uh, Spanish fly or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's Billy the P on the camera. Oh, God, I hope not. And he's putting his own commentary in here. You hear this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know where you found this jabroni to run a camera. Uh, must have been uh, straight from Louisville Gardens or something. But uh, right now you can see he's got at least a good shot of uh, the action that's going on. Well, we'll try to talk over him, fans, uh, as he continues to run his mouth. Uh, right there is the old-fashioned testicle crawl there, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm, straight out of the pages of Luna Vachon, wouldn't you say? I would say Billy the P, P would say, ah! That's exactly what's coming out of Pondo right now. You take a look. That is just brutal. You can see the ball wire there with the red prongs. And uh, see the, the hemoglobin scar on Pondo. You know, uh, you talked to a lot of people that talk, were around the wrestling business a few years ago to wrestle with Pondo, Pondo and they say, uh, he's doing this stuff now, and they said, well, maybe he landed a little on his head wrong or something, you know? He's, uh, he's got to be crazy. I, I just don't know, uh, you know, when or, or where he decided to do this. I think you've just uh, beaten this guy into insanity, and I think it's your way around, too. I think he's uh, beating you into insanity. I mean, when you're stepping into the ring with light bulbs and barbed wire surrounding the ring, and... Uh, you know, this I, I just can't believe this is actually going on right now. This is incredible. You know, some people say this has got to be illegal. It should be. It should be. Hell, I wouldn't be in there, and I, I can't believe. I mean, you're putting your life on the line here, you realize. That's why it's called a death match. Exactly. I tell you, try, trying to, to get this guy uh, in the ball wire without uh, putting yourself in the ball wire is tough. Yeah, and uh, it's always a struggle going on right there. And, uh, the folks, you're about to see Pondo go into the ball wire. Hit him with that big forearm across the back, knock some air out of him, and front face suplex him. And the, Now, if you don't think the ball wire is real, you don't think it's sharp, <laughs> look at it grab a hold of Pondo there. I'm telling you, uh, fans around the world will be viewing this videotape, and uh, when, when you're thinking of the sickest puppies on earth, think of Man Man Pondo and Ian Rotten because... Uh, this this match was really detrimental to both of our careers. I think it took both lo a lot out of both of us. Definitely. Nothing to gain, everything to lose. The only thing you can gain from this is to say uh, you came out on top. But uh, that's not, uh, there's a heavy price to pay just for coming out on top and saying you were the, w you were the winner of this match. Well, Ponda's going to find out uh, what exactly a steel chair feels like to the side of the head there. And he looks, <laughs> looks like he's on Dream Street. Oh, I, absolutely. Right now, uh, looks like you definitely have the upper hand on right there, uh, Mr. Rotten. Now, this might have been the stupidest thing I've ever done in my entire career. 
I, I took a glass light bulb and smashed it full-handedly holding it and right there just sliced the hell out of my hand. Uh, you'll, you'll see a pretty good shot of this later on in the match. And you'll definitely be able to, as you can see, I'm trying to get the glass out of my hand right there. Um, but it did a little bit of number on Pondo. Well, you never claimed to be a brain surgeon now, did you? No, I, and that's why I stuck to, re stuck to wrestling. Well, uh, you've definitely found your niche in life. But as you can see, the ball wire and the glass has had its effect on Pondo also. Pondo's reeling right now, but it uh, looks like he's starting to get the upper hand on you again. And uh, here come the light bulbs. Let me tell you, as Madman Pondo said in the second four corners of pain, hot, 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 hot. Uh, I can't even begin to imagine what it would feel like to have my face stuck on a light bulb that's been burning for a good 20 minutes now. Uh, it's got to be like no other experience in the world. Well, uh, you know, you had, I had, had to realize that this was going to happen, and, and which I did. That the fact of the matter was that, that I could be burnt by the bulbs. Could be. I mean, this is this is insane right now. You know, uh, Pond Pondo put a a pretty good niche in my head with that ball wire there. Uh, you know, it's it's this is not a match that's fun. You look forward to it for the no notoriety that you might get out of it, and uh, and the status is. I guess you would say a tough guy, but you don't look forward to go, oh, this is what's going to skyrocket my career. Yeah, you're looking just to get out of here alive at this point in time. Look out. Right here, I was looking to get out of the barbed wire alive. Man Man Pondo shoots me into the barbed wire, pressing me against the barbed wire and just cutting me to no end. One of my favorite shirts is about to get shreddy. Um, I wouldn't be worrying too much about my shirt at this point in time. Well, I'm just saying for... For the people that think, oh, it's fake, oh, that's not real barbed wire. Well, that real barbed wire tears, tears at that clothing, and, uh, you know, I don't care what anybody says. When you have your arms shredded like I have by barbed wire in my head, uh, you just get a little tired of people's stupidity. Well, that's right. I mean, uh, right there, uh, you came to another four-way stop, and uh, you're right, you know, people who... Uh, People who try to write it off as uh, being entertainment. Uh, of course, you'll probably never be entertained quite like this. And a barbed wire bat to the back. You know, Pond Ponder's felt that barbed wire bat several times, but that was a full swing. Had no clue it was coming anywhere near him. And uh, that, that has to be de de detrimental to the shoulder. I mean, it, it easy for me to say, huh? But it really has to be uh, painful for uh, Ponder to wake up the next morning after a shot like that. Uh, he didn't see it coming either. And uh, right now, Pondo's starting to work on that knee. He knows he's got you right where he wants you. You know, I was, I was pretty pretty surprised other than the chop that he gave to, to my knee kneecap, basically, in the beginning of the match, that that he didn't dive right after that from, from the beginning. I guess he figured he, he let me think that he forgot about it and then, then went after it. I don't know. Gonna shoot me in a barbed wire here again, but I give him a nice reversal, and he's gonna take out some uh, barbed wire of his own. This is incredible. You take a good look at your hand there, thanks to the uh, light bulb glass, thanks to the barbed wire. My ha hand's been shredded at this point by that by that glass from the from the the light bulb. It's it's real fine and it's, it's easy for you to get cut with it. There I am burning Pondo with that light bulb. You know. You can see him holding his head. This point in time probably feels like a whopper from Burger King, flame broiled. <coughs> you know, s several people at ringside said you could smell skin burning when I put that light bulb on him. Oh, I don't doubt a bit. You could probably smell skin, hair, and now, now what are you thinking here? I'm thinking I'm going to hurt somebody. <laughs> that, that was... Uh, that was what I thought I was going to be able to put away with him, but when I landed, it just jarred my knee to the point that it, it, it w I wasn't able to go to for a pin right away, so I figured, well, I'll try to go for the knockout. Uh, here you go. A little shake, rattle, and roll, if you will. Yep, honky-tonking it right here, and Pondo doesn't know it's coming. You see the glass hanging from Pondo's hair. No, oh, goodness gracious. 
sour note on it. Pondo's going to have a blue Christmas. I'm telling you that right now. Goodness gracious. This match coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky, Derby Sports Arena, December 5th, 1996. Mark it on your calendars, date and history. A light bulb barbed wire match was done in Louisville, Kentucky. First time in the United States. So, uh, this match is, is, is taking its toll on both guys. I know that. Pondo's, Pondo's got to be feeling the effects of them headshots. No doubt about it. And now, now it looks like he's going to put out a little damage of his own right here. Turns you over on a suplex right on the light bulb. But the thing is, if you notice there, it's not a textbook looking suplex, but he also cross faced me at my chin, twisting my neck at the same time as suplexing me. I mean, he's, he's unorthodox, but there's a method to his madness. Uh, he just took the words right out of my mouth. There is a method to his madness. And uh, Pondo doesn't always do everything by the book. So, uh, but often that's how he gets ahead in life. Why are you talking about a sex life? Uh, this is a barbed wire light bulb match, and you're talking about head. Hey, you got to get your damn head out of the gutter, because I was talking about his wrestling. It doesn't have to look pretty. He just gets the job done. That's all there is to it. Well, obviously, neither one of us are going to win a beauty contest, but that, that's not the name of the game of wrestling, right? It's like Tarek. It's not the name of the game. It's not to look good. It's not, not to be the fanciest, well-dressed. It is to win matches, win titles, and make money. That's right. If you end up uh, looking a little worse for wear in the end, who cares? As long as you come out on top, you're I still see, the winner. See, Pondo saw that back there and, and was running like Carl Lewis in the 96 Olympics. He was, he was gone. Well, I don't know about Carl Lewis. Uh, Michael Johnson, it doesn't matter. He was flying, but he still got, I still got a good shot in on his knee. Right it, eye for an eye and a two for a tooth, if you will. So I go for a figure four leg lock here. No Ponda with those baggy pants and uh, thick knee pads. It's a hard move to apply to someone uh, that doesn't wear regular tights along with myself having the, the gi pants uh, in order to keep from getting carved up in the barbed wire as far as our legs are concerned. Uh, this is uh, just brutality. And See, right there, right there he takes that, he, you know, he's always thinking about my knee. You know, I, I, I think Pondo's got my knee on his mind or something all the time. I, I think he sits at home and sits in his bed and thinks, well, this is a good way to hurt Ian's knee. I really do. I mean, uh, I know he, he tries to think of sick matches to get me in and everything else. And, uh, you know, as we said, the four corners of pain, he thought of the mouse traps. And now instead of taking a swing with that back, where's he, where's he hit at? My knee. The back of my knee joint. He's going to take you out anyway he can. Ponder rocking back, taking my other leg and using it for pressure on my, on my bad knee. You, know, you gotta say there's a method to his mad. You, I I hate to give the guy credit that I I have to. He you just can't underestimate him at any time because one week he might watch a wrestling tape and learn a wrestling move. And then that's when the total package comes together. Uh, no, I'm not talking about Lex Luger either. I'm I'm talking about Man Man Pondo, the ultimate wrestler right now. Ultimate wrestler. Saying he's the ultimate wrestler is like saying the ultimate warrior can wrestle. Hey, I don't know about Ultimate Warrior Wrestling, but right now, Pondo's showing he knows how to get hardcore, unlike Mr. Ultimate Warrior. Right now, he's uh, looks like he's going to put a little lumber to you. I'm telling you, these fans all over that place in Philadelphia, uh, you know about that place, don't you, Paul? Oh, a little bit. They, they, they love to bring weapons. Now, Pondo, Pondo going for this light bulb here, and... The, the light bulb moved, thank God, but I'll be damned if that didn't hurt. You know, I'm not the most muscular guy in the, in the, in the abdominal region. Maybe I need an abro or so. But, I mean, a board to the gut has a tendency to hurt. That's right. Uh, abs of steel, you're not. But, uh, that's right. You got a little bulk there protecting you. But, uh, here comes the double arm DDT that I invented, not Cactus Jack. Uh, he just had the national exposure. But, uh... I invented that move, and if he uh, would like to question that, I'd be more than happy to go head-to-head -head with him, too. Bang, bang. You know, uh, sometimes mankind can be cruel. Well, mankind is often a tough place to be in, huh? Now, what is he doing here? Oh, 
Oh! You know, Pondo's blind as a bat. He really is. And, and he missed me with that first one, but he found that second one. He's got the senses of a bat, though. He can find it somewhere around him. Right. Ever notice how much he squints? He's nocturnal. He's a night beater. Maybe that's the thing with the lights. Maybe he's flying towards the lights or something. I don't know. That's why this is his kind of man. You know, he's, he's got me tied up in this ball wire here. And, uh, you know, right right here, the security feeling for, 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 for my, my safety is going to cut the lights. But, Lord, did they know... They were, uh, th th they were getting me in deep trouble here, you know? Pondo hold me in the barbed wire as all the lights go out, and it is the night the lights went out in Louisville, folks. And when the lights come back on, you will find Tracy Smothers in the ring, you know? Uh, this guy's just got serious head problems. I don't know if, like, you know, it's it's a lack of respect in the WWF, what it is, but man, he gets he gets there. He hit me with that 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 kick of his that he likes to do. I don't even know what he calls it. You know, right in the throat, and it sits on me. If that isn't degrading, I don't know what is. Hey, Tracy Smurs is looking for respect. 13 years of the business, he ain't gotten a bit yet, even from the WWF. Well, folks, while this carnage takes place, I don't think we need to see pretty much any more of it. Uh, now, see, here comes the payback. Tommy Wildfire Rich comes out and saves me. If that's not a payback for me, I don't know what is. Well, I don't know what the Wildfire's thinking here. Uh, I got to admit, I'm a little surprised he came out.